Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and to a new episode of Beauty Lies Within Us. Today's episode is all about the gothic look. I'm a bad, bad girl. I do know and understand that this look is not everyone's cup of tea or goblet of wine but we cannot deny the fact that this season this is the most sexy and sought after look that everyone but everyone is following. Even though we're in the middle of summer, it looks like black smoky eyes, black lipstick, black nails are continuing from the winter into the spring into summer. So don't be afraid to carry out these dark colors even throughout the summer. Some of the characteristic traits of this look besides the dark makeup, the dark eyes and the dark lipstick is the focus straight hair, which is normally dark. But I've got the streaks, um, the thin arched eyebrows, witchy looking eyebrows, pale, pale whitish complexion foundation, uh, chokers, nose rings, dark clothes, tattoos, either fake or real, it's up to you. And of course it carries on to your black nails and if you want also your chunky earrings. For me, this look was extremely bold, different and adventurous. Um, I'm normally into the pretty pretty pink lips and the angelic kind of makeup. But as I said, I always like to kind of try out different looks and if you don't try out, you won't know how they look. So this is what I tried on today. Please let me know what you think about the look. Do you? like the look do you accept the look or do you find it too witchy and bitchy so here is a step-by-step -step tutorial on how you can achieve this gothic look of makeup i'm going to start by taking my urban decay all nighter liquid foundation and basically what we need to do is take a shade that is slightly lighter than our own skin in this case i'm taking shade 4.0 Dabbing it lightly all over my face, including around the lips, and I'm going to go over the lips as well. I'm going to take my Master Blender by Wuju Cosmetics and basically blend the liquid all over my face. It has to be done very, very neatly and make sure that there are no patches of foundation because being a lighter shade, it's going to look really, really weird if it's not blended in properly. Now I'm going to take the Urban Decay Naked Skin Concealer. It's nice to have the same brand of concealer and foundation because they kind of complement each other. What I'm going to do is just apply some around my eyes to hide the dark circles and any black um, pigmentation or anything that you have around your face or on the skin. And then blend it again with the same Master Blender. Blending it well so that it's not patchy. The shade I'm using here is Light Warm. I'm going to cover the foundation with a thick layer of the Inglow Loose Powder. And this is really, really very important because the finish that is required for Gothic makeup is a very, very matte look. I'm using the puff with it to press it down into the foundation. With the contour kit of Anastasia Beverly Hills, 
palette light to medium, I'm going to dust some of the banana powder under my eyes and in the hollows of my cheeks. I'm not going to go heavy with the contouring, just a little bit and then uh, some of the darker shade on my jawline. I'll be using the Urban Decay Afterglow Powder Blush in Fetish. I'm not going to apply too much, just a little bit on the apples of my cheeks. I'm going to start doing my eyes with the Morphe palette in 12NB. Now this lovely shade that I'm going to start with is like a brownish maroon satiny kind of color and it just glides so well onto the eyelid. Taking the Meet Matrimony Eye Palette by The Balm, I shall now take the color Matte Read and apply it to the corners of my eyes. To save time, I've already done the other eye. And then I'm taking Matte Ameth, the black shade in the palette, and again doing just the corners of my eyes. Make sure the colors are really blended well. Now for the eyebrows, of course, I will use my Christine Dior Dark Brown Eyebrow Pencil in 693 and gently sketch out a really highly arched, thin kind of eyebrow, giving it, as I said, a witchy or a bitchy kind of a look. When doing smoky eyes, you may want to do the eyes first because the makeup particles might spill onto the foundation. The Mikiyaji Ultra Matte Eyeliner is what I'm going to use to eyeline the eyes, drawing a thick line from the inner corner of my eye, extending it to a wing. The wing will also be really thick, defining the eyes and making it look really smoky and cat-like. If you do decide to apply the eyeliner or black coal pencil under your eyes, making a very dramatic dark eye, then make sure to use a nude shade for your lipstick. Going back to the Morphe palette, I shall take a golden shade and apply it with a thin brush to my brow bone and also to the inner corner of my eyes. Finishing off the eyeshadow and making it look complete. Although most people like to apply dark eyeliner to the rims of their eyes for the smoky eye look, I still prefer the Givenchy White Pencil in Magic Coal. The Mikiyaji Lash Perfection 5-in-1 Mascara is what I'm going to use to my eyelashes. Now, for those of you who don't have really good thick long eyelashes, you can actually use falsies and it will really help you to make your eyes stand out. Now, since I I'm lucky to have good eyelashes. What I'm going to do is apply the mascara two times. So I'm going to have two layers of mascara and as you can see, it really helps to thicken the lashes and make them look longer. And of course the Body Shop Chamomile Eye Makeup Remover can be used to wipe off any of those small dots and spilling of the eyeshadow after you have finished the makeup. To outline my lips, I'm going to use my Clarins Lip Pencil in Chocolate. Now I'm going to go slightly over my lip line, making my lips a bit thicker than normal because when I apply the dark color, I really want it to stand out. For my lips, I'm going to use the Gerard Cosmetics Hydra Matte Lipstick in Ruby Slipper. Now this is a beautiful dark purple shade with little specks of red glitter which is only slightly visible but kind of gives the lips a sheen.
Sometimes with dark colors, it can be really messy just applying it directly from the tube. So using a thin brush, you can just touch it up at the edges. So that's it. Hope you like this video, guys. Hope you enjoyed watching it and trying out the makeup as much as I did. Although I feel like a really bad girl today. Take care, guys. See you soon. Please follow, like, share and subscribe for more. Till next time, guys. Take care.